Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and BrimDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we got a great one for you today. We did this about a year ago, maybe longer, but somebody's been asking about it, so I thought I'd do it again. Great little thing. We've got a button. When you click on it, it's going to reveal a section. When you click on it again, it's going to hide that section. Really great way of hiding a bit of real estate on your site, popping it up when it's needed, and hiding it again when it's not needed. Extremely easy to do and great little interactive feature to have for your visitors. So let me take you through it. So here we have a site. I've got a little hero section at the top here, a little dark bar in the middle with an info button and a little gallery down below. And if I click on the info button, we've got another little section pop up here a call to action an image and a little contact form of course you can put anything in this section you want treat it as any other section you can make it as big or as small as you want if you click on the button again it's going to disappear and just so you can see if i click on it one more time it's pushed the section that was below down so it's not obscuring any of the sections and this will work just as well on tablet and mobile if i hit my f12 key here we are on iPad Air. There's our little button. If I click on it, there's our image call to action and contact form. And of course, if I close it back up, if we look on a phone, it should work exactly the same way. Let's have a look on our iPhone 12 here. There's the button. There's the little gallery that is below it. If I click on it, there's our call to action, image and contact form. Really great little feature, really easy to do. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. And let's go down and I'll delete the sections I've got hidden here. Okay, here we are back where we started. I've just got the two sections, the little hero section up the top here and the little gallery down the bottom. We need to create two more sections. One to put the button in that we want to click the hidden section up with. And of course, the section itself that we want to hide. So let's do that. I'm going to add a new section. I'm going to make mine a regular section. I'm going to put a single column in it. And for this, I'm going to use this for the button that we're going to use to pop it up. So I'm going to pop a button in there. Obviously, put what your button you want your button to say here. And I'm not going to put a link in. Usually, you'd put a button link in here, but today I'm not going to put a link in. I'm going to go over to my design. I'm going to pop this button in the middle. I'm going to make it just slightly more interesting. So I'm going to go down to button, still in design. I'm going to flip the use custom styles for button switch. Button text, I'm going to make white. It'll disappear on that white background. Button background, I'm going to make red. That'll work for me. And just for fun, we'll give it a different color on hover. To do that, just hover over the dark writing there till the icons pop up. If there's an arrow there, we can create two different states. Desktops when the mouse is not on it. Hover obviously is when the mouse is on it. So I'm going to click on the hover tab there. And we can have a completely different color. Fantastic. When we actually hover over this, you can see as default, it puts a little icon in there, which is fine in most situations. I think I want to take that away. So let's just make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to roll down a bit. And if you want to keep it, you can choose whatever icon you want here, down here. I don't want to keep it, so I'm going to turn that off. Great. And it's got a white border on it. I know you can't see it because of that. So I'm going to take that away also. Button border width. I'm going to just take that down to zero. Great. Let's flip it back to desktop mode so it's red. OK. I'm going to save that. And I'm just going to give the section a background color. Of course, the styling is entirely up to you. Let's make it my 2424 dark color. That's great. And that's a little wider than I need. So I'm going to take any weight, any padding, and we'll just be left with the row height, which will probably work for me. So back in design here, I'm going to go down to spacing. I'm going to put a zero where it says padding top there. I'll take any padding away from the row itself. I'm going to hit the chain so it does bottom as well. That's going to work for me size-wise. Fantastic. 
Well, let's create the section that we actually want to hide or show now. So I'm going to hit a little blue button to add a new section. Again, I'm going to use a regular section. As I mentioned earlier, you can put anything that you want in here. And I'm going to keep this pretty quick. So let's just put a single column in there. And let's just throw a contact form in there. I'm not going to do anything to this form at all. If you're not sure how to style a form, have a look at our contact form videos in Divi for Beginners. We go through all of that for you. We'll give it a little title. And let's say contact for more info. Of course, I'm sure you'd have a more exciting section in yours. I'm just kind of making this up as I go along for that little section. Great. And again, so just so we can tell the difference between it and the section below, let's give it a background color. I'll save my contact form settings there. Now let's make this black or whatever color you want, obviously, so we can discern it from either of these. And I'll just style that title there. We go back into the form. If we roll over the title, hit the little pink brush attached to it. It'll take us straight to it. Don't really want an H1. I'm going to make it H2. I'm going to pop it in the middle and I'm going to make it wide in color. We're good to go. We've now got all the bits we need to make this happen. Okay, well, here comes the fun part. We're going to add a bit of JavaScript. To do that, I'm going to roll down. Doesn't matter too much where you put it on the site, but you want to make sure you don't put it on the hidden section. I'm going to add a new module. We're going to use a code module. Okay, don't panic. JavaScript does sound a bit scary if you don't know anything about it, but it's really not. It is a little, little more complex than CSS and a little more difficult to learn. But I've written it all for you. I've got a PDF there where you can copy and paste, and I'll take you through every step. Basically, we've got a script that's going to grab the button, and it's going to say, when you click the button, hide this section. When you click it again, show the section. It's a really simple little function, really easy to do. And as I say, I'll take you all the way through it. So let's get back to the build. Okay, I've got this all written for you. Let's open a new tab. I'll put in the URL. And here it is. And just to explain it a little bit, we've created a document which is going to get an element by ID. And the ID of the element it's going to select is called SEC, S -E -C -B -T -N. That's for the button. And when we click on this button, we've created a function. We've got another element with the ID of hide sec. And you can change these to whatever you want. Make sure you don't lop off those inverted commas there if you do change those IDs there. And it's going to tell it to display block if it's not displaying, because we're going to hide it initially. And it's going to tell it to display none if it is displaying. So every time we click on it, it's going to flip or toggle between display block, display none, Back to display block. So all we need to do, or all you need to do, is select this from the opening script tag there. So the closing script tag at the bottom. Make sure you get all of it. Control C to copy. I'm going to go back to our site to the little code module we opened up just now. And we're going to paste it in there. So to make this happen, we need to give the button an ID of sec. BTN, that's what I decided to call this. It's not very exciting, but there we are. So I'm going to copy that, Control C. I'm going to just save that. We'll go up to our button. Here it is right here. I'm going to go over to Advanced. You'll always find CSS IDs and classes in the Advanced. Click on it. Make sure you put this in the ID and not the class. It will not work if you put it in the class. Control V to paste. Great. If we look back at our code module, and incidentally, because code modules don't take up much room, sometimes you'll have trouble finding it. If that's the case, make sure you've got your little purple button expanded down here. And we can go to wireframe mode, kind of back end mode, which will give you a view like this. There's the button, contact form, gallery. There's the code module. You can always get to it that way if you can't find it. Let's flip back to desktop. So we've given our button the ID that we need now. We need to give the section that we want to hide, which is the one with this contact form, the ID of hide or hid sec. 
again i've kind of made that up i tend to use sort of my version of shorthand so it kind of means something to me Control c again to copy again we'll save that i'm going to go into the section that we want to hide advanced css ids and classes again remember got to put it in the id not the class now before i save I don't want to see this initially when the page loads I don't want to be seeing this so I'm going to hide it and it's really easy to hide it we have to just add a little bit more CSS code but it's simple and again I'll put this down below if anybody needs to copy it I'm going to go into the custom CSS just below I'm going to go into module elements in the main element I'm going to write display d-i-s-p-l-a-y colon none n-o-n-e semicolon and as you may have noticed, that section has now disappeared because we've told it display none. And like I say, that is really easy. You can just type it in, but I will put it down if anybody does want to copy and paste it. Great. Let's save our changes now. And we should be good to go. We'll save draft. And we'll exit the visual builder. And there we have it. We've got our little hero section at the top gallery at the bottom here's our button as you can see or as you can't see because it's not there we've got no contact form in that section there if i roll over the button it's going to turn blue little hand icons are going to appear if i click on it it's going to drop down a little section that we wanted to hide there and as you can see it's pushed that gallery down below click on it again it's going to bring it up great little feature great things for saving a bit of real estate on your site. Like I say, I've done a very, very simple version of this today. You can make these sections that you want to hide as large or as small as you want. Perfect. Just exactly what I wanted. So there we have it. There is how to hide and show a section using a simple bit of JavaScript. And we're doing it on button click, which makes it a very good function to have on your site. As you saw earlier, this is really easy to do. You only have to copy and paste it. Just what the doctor ordered. If you've enjoyed this today, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, because it's always great to hear from you, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you enjoy doing a little bit of coding, have a look at our simple CSS playlist. It's going to pop up over here any minute now. And there's a few more examples of this and that, plus all kinds of different CSS effects. Most of it, it's copy and paste. I've done it all for you. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.